Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my favorites for March 2011. These are things I'm loving, things I've really been using a lot of. And uh, so yeah, the first thing I want to talk about is the Sills Booster by Lancome. And this is just a mascara primer. And it has really revolutionized like the amount of time it takes me to do my makeup. I seriously spend so much time on my mascara. It's probably like my most important thing that I want to emphasize is like my lashes. So this seriously it coats your lashes then you put your mascara on and like immediately your mascara clings to it so it's like you hardly have to do a few swipes and you're done like it looks amazing so I totally love this this is a sample size and I'm gonna buy a full size when I run out because it's just an awesome mascara primer I've never found anything like this before so I love it next thing would be Inglot they finally um, have a website you can purchase on um, for the United States, so I was really, really excited because I've heard so many things about it. And the first item is 544. This is the AMC lip gloss, and obviously, as you can see, it's like a duochrome lip gloss. It is so pretty. It's this nice, deep pink, peachy pink kind of um, color on my lips, and it looks amazing. I love, I love this lip gloss. Plus, how cool is that? Like, just to pull this out of your bag, like, it's amazing. I'm gonna buy all the other ones. Um, part of this line that's holographic. There's like a light blue one I really want. But um, yeah, so this is really cool. I love it. It's not sticky at all. It smells amazing. It smells like watermelon. It's really, really nice. So I like that a lot. I love the eyeshadows I got. I'm going to put down in the bottom bar the shadows I did pick up because I, they're all numbered. But um, but yeah, so uh, these are the shadows I got. I mean, pigmentation is insane. I mean, it's so creamy and buttery and smooth. It's like sugar pill. Um, if you really like like the pigmentation of sugar pill, you're going to love these because these are so insanely pigmented. So um, I just bought them. They were $5 each when you buy like a certain amount. Like The more you buy, like the cheaper they get. So yeah, these were $5 each. You get more product than MAC. These are more pigmented than a lot of MAC ones. Like This is what I wanted bitter to be. It's like amazing. I mean... You just, you can't beat these eyeshadows. They're freaking awesome. So I love those. I'm going to buy some of like the gel liners and stuff like that, but I have really been loving my Inglot. Okay, next would be some items I picked up from uh, all co allcosmeticswholesale.com. And um, that's a really great site if you want to find things that are discontinued. It's also a really good site if you want things that are cheaper than the normal price in the store. Um, I got this for $8.99. This is Violet Underground. And it's a cold pencil by MAC. And it's this really pretty purple color. It looks so nice with any kind of uh, purple look. Like today I wore it along the lower lash line. And it's just this really pretty purple. I mean, it goes with any purple... Um, look that you have going on. I love cold pencils from MAC. They're my favorite eye pencils. You can wear this on the waterline. It looks really, really nice. So anyway, I've just really been loving this particular color. Next, I <laughs> I picked this up. It's part of the Luna Twilight line. And this is the Mortal Glow Blushing Cream and Adrenaline. And I really wanted this when this first came out. But these were $22. And I was like, oh, I don't know about that. And so on allcosmeticswholesale.com, they have it for $10.99. I was like, okay, I'm totally buying it. Because I was a little concerned at first, because I'm like, that's kind of expensive um, for a cream highlight. And um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. It's insanely shimmery. It's super, super shimmer glitter. And you probably won't be able to tell with this. But anyway, it's amazing. It's really easy to overdo, though. So I would say, you know, it's worth $10.99, but definitely not worth $22. It's really kind of hard to... I mean, you can pat it on, but I like to use a concealer brush with it. Just because it's really easy to overdo it. This is insanely shimmery in person for the cheeks. I mean, if you like really glittery, shimmery things, you're going to love this. If you don't, just stay away from this. But I really, really like it, and I've been using it a lot. It's just kind of a little bit more difficult to, to use than a like powder highlighter. But it is really, really pretty. And if you want to have like a really bold highlighter, this is it. I really like it. Next thing I've really been loving is the Crackle Nail Polish. And this is in Broken Hearted. And this is the pink. And I've just been using it over all different kinds of um, nail polishes. Like this one, this is Peachy Keen. I use that over it and that's what I have on my nails now. It's just really, really cool and pretty. I've used it over Lemon Fizz. And, I mean, it's just like the color combinations you can come up with are pretty awesome. So, I need to get more of these, but this has been um, the one that 
I've been using a lot of um, the Broken Hearted one. I like it. Then because it was St. Patrick's Day, I used this one for most of the month. And this is Golden Seahorse. And this is just a really pretty mint green with gold shimmer in it, or glitter. I have mentioned this before, but I wanted to mention it again. It's by LA Splash. I think it was like $3.99 at Ulta. It was really a good deal. I really like these a lot. The LA Splash has some really good um, products, so you might want to check them out because they're cheap. Next would be this Buxom Stay There eyeshadow. And this is in Mutt. This is the packaging. I just recently got this, and I absolutely love it. I was trying a lot of different things at Sephora, and this one really caught my eye. Um, it's this really nice taupe color. And if you if you touch it, it's like super soft. You just you have to touch it to understand like the softness of this. But it's so incredibly pigmented. It lasts. It says that it's waterproof. I don't really have a need for waterproof, but it doesn't crease, and it's great to just throw all over the lid, mascara, run out the door. So that's really why I bought this because I was looking for a nice cream shadow that I could just kind of throw on all over the lid and then just be done with my makeup. Um, because, like, in the spring and summer, I don't wear as much makeup as, like, I normally do. Um, just because I kind of like lighter makeup during the summertime and stuff. So, this is just perfect for that. If you want a just nice all-over lid color, um, I really recommend these. So, that's that. Next would be this eyeshadow by MAC and Goldmine. And I've been using this to lighten my brows. Um, I don't have it on today. Um, but this has been really, really awesome. If you want to, like, if you're, like, a natural blonde, but you want to, like, kind of lighten your eyebrows a little bit more, this is really, really nice. Um, I use this wet with a brush, and then I just brush some, um, brow gel in, and it's amazing. I use this after I've defined my brows, though. I just wanted to point that out. So, like, I define my brows, then use this wet, and then put some brow gel in to kind of set it. And that's a tip that I found on Temptalia, and it was really, really awesome because it totally works really nice. So you would never think that this gold eyeshadow would uh, would work for that, but yeah, it does. Next would be my crown brushes. You guys need to get crown brushes if you don't have any. Um, I I bought a bunch, and I can do a product review for them if you guys would like. But yeah, I just I totally loaded up on them. Um, got all these different ones. And they're fantastic. This angle liner, I never had an angle liner brush before, and it's amazing. <laughs> it's perfect for a wing. Like, I can do a wing now with, like, one stroke, and it's a wing. And it's not, like, some long 20-minute process. So, I recommend that one. So, yeah, those are the ones I picked up. I picked up, like I said, a bunch of them. This one is a really great brush. So, yeah. So that's that. Next would be this bronzer by Bobbi Brown, and this is an Aruba. I dropped it. And um, this is an Aruba. It's just this really great, pretty bronze. Um, I can only wear Max Golden Bronzer. Everything else looks kind of orange, and even this, like swatch, looks slightly orange on me. But when you put it on your cheeks, it just gives you this really nice over. I don't know, just like an overall glow to your skin. It's really, really nice. There's a lot of shimmer in this, so I wouldn't like put it all over the face or anything, but it just kind of like warms up your face. And I think that's kind of the point of the Bobbi Brown bronzers, because some of them aren't um, bronze. I think it's for people who just want to kind of warm up their skin a little bit. So I like, I can use this as a cheek color and also just as a bronzer or um, a nice shimmery highlighter, bronzy cheek thing. So I really like it. Um, I think it was 30 some dollars, but yeah. So I like that. Okay, and the next things I'm going to talk about aren't beauty related. Um, so I got this Zumba Fitness for the Wii, and this is a really awesome thing, okay? Because, I don't know, I work out a lot. I go running, I um, do workout videos and stuff, and sometimes like... I get really bored with my routine or I just want to change it up or I don't want to do anything that's like super intense and this is perfect for that because you know it's you get a workout but it's not like some really really intense workout and um, I don't know it, it tones and you're getting cardio so I don't know I really like this a lot it does kind of just throw you into it um, there are some like tutorials there's all sorts of things on this um, on this thing but, um, so yeah, there's like classes, routines, um, tutorials, how to do it. And, uh, it, but it does just kind of throw you into it. So it is, it's one of those things where you have to watch it a couple times and then you start really learning the moves. Like, 
I don't know. It's it's just really fun, but I will say that it is a little bit difficult. If you're not one to just kind of pick up on things, you may not like this, but I really love this. Um, this was $40 at Target, and it comes with this thing that you wrap around your hips, and you stick the remote, the Wii remote, in here, and then it measures your hip movement. And if you like dancing and you like working out, you're going to love this. This is just a really fun way, like I said, to work out, and... Um, and I totally, I, I love this. I think it's so much fun. So I wanted to throw that in there because I know you guys like it when I throw in random things. But I've really been enjoying this a lot. I do this probably like three times a week. And just kind of in between, like, you know, like I said, like I'll work out on a, I'll do like intense, you know, toning. And then like the next day I'll run like three to five miles. And then the next day I kind of want to do something, but I don't want to just run or whatever so this is a great way for me to, to still be active and do stuff without you know having to do too much if that makes any sense so yeah I've really been loving that and then the next thing is this book series because I know you guys really liked it when I uh, mentioned some books last time so this is by Larissa Ione Ion I O N E I'll put the uh, description in the bottom bar but this is her Demonica series, and it's basically like demon romance novels. They're so much fun. They're an easy read. If you like romance novels, you're going to like these. Um, they have really, um, obviously, sexual covers. They're just really fun. They're about, um, like, demons. Um, and I don't, know, I don't know how to really go into it, but it's just a really fun series. I have all of them. I like how she writes. It's very just to the point. Like, you know, you don't have to sift through all this stuff, because sometimes romance novels can get a little bit boring for me, and these are just really fun and interesting. So I really like these. Um, they're kind of like the paranormal romance. Um, what I really like is also that, like, each of the books in the series is, like, a different brother. So, so that's really cool. Except for the last one. The last one's about the sister. So, um... So yeah, I just I really like these, and uh, I think they're a lot of fun. I think, you know, you check them out if you're, you know, just wanting to read something fun and different, and you like romance. So, yeah. So that's really all I have for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, stay tuned. I'm going to have, um, I'm going to do a jewelry video, and then like a, an apartment tour video, because somebody wanted me to do my bedroom, but it's, like, there's not that much to it, so I'm just going to do my whole apartment. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.